Hey guys, I'm Rita and in this episode I will show you how you can access and review your self-assessment return on QuickBooks Self-Employed. To access self-assessment, you need to go to Taxes section and here is our self-assessment. So currently we are somewhere in the middle of 31st, close to 31st July 2022 and this tax year haven't finished yet. So if you need to look at previous tax year, select tax year from the drop down list here. Also, you can amend your tax profile by changing information here. Don't forget to click on save if you do any changes. You can download tax summary as well as tax details. Self-assessment is actually split in two parts. First part is business income and second part is business expense. So if we need to review numbers, for example, income would most likely increase your profits and in that case it also will increase your taxes. To make sure that all incomes that you have recorded is correct and valid, click on these blue numbers so any blue numbers what's showing up on this self-assessment you can actually drill in so you can see a breakdown. So click on this breakdown and you will see all your transactions. So for example if I scroll to the bottom there is cash deposit of 500 and this cash deposit is actually my support to my own business. To change this, click on business and amend to personal. So if cash deposit is your personal funding and it's not income that need to be recorded as a business income, then this is way how you can update information. And when I go back to taxes, my 16 thousand have changed to actually 15,850. Next section is business expenses and business expenses are split in two columns, allowable expenses for tax purposes and disallowable expenses. So we can see that uh, for example for car one and travel expenses I have two vehicles and I claim as per mile um, uh, allowable expenses instead of if I have recorded uh, receipts for purchasing petrol. So in that case, everything what I recorded as part of transactions will go under disallowable expenses. To see more details, click on numbers and you will see what actually is under this, in my case would be £100. The same applies for rent rates, power insurance in my case, so it's 1335 under other expenses. and. Home office 35 pounds are disallowable. When I look on 35, I can see that I have purchased something uh, for home office expenses. And if I want, I can amend update information and attach support documents or even completely move to personals that is nothing relating to business. So when I look on taxes, now home office are zero showing up. If you scroll to the bottom, you can see provisional income tax as well as national insurance contributions for class 2 and class 4. So in this episode, I showed you how you can access, review uh, your self-assessment on QuickBooks Self-Employed as well as see provisional taxes, what you most likely will be liable to pay at the end of your tax year when you submit your self-assessment. So if you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me. Also, I have shared the links in the description section below to my QuickBooks self-employed tutorial as well as a review of this accounting software. If you have not seen it yet, check it out.